fight week depends on my role, but commonly it's just about making the athlete feel good as a clinician. So all the hard work's been done. My job's to make the athlete available. Fight week's all about making them feel good. Me and Josh have routines that we have done through camp that I know what works for him. I know what his body likes. It's all about relaxing, staying, staying loose, staying free. Yeah, all about the feel good stuff. Feel good, move good in my opinion on a fight week. Look, so you, you don't go too hard. I don't go too hard on a fight week because he's already cutting weight. He's depleted. The last yeah. thing you want to do is kind of create inf like more inflammation. Like that's why usually I do any hard work midweek max because the last two days he's already cutting weight. Just want to let him chill. Anything that we do the last couple of days is just about You're feeling just adjusting good. Adjusting him basically. <clears throat> yeah, just adjusting him, making him feel nice. Like I said, like I know things that make Josh feel good. Like we've been working together for a long time now, so. Does every athlete, like, do you, for example, this process, is every athlete different? I think every athlete's different um, because every athlete has their own unique thing that they like. How did you meet Josh? Oh, I've been working with uh, the, the team for now for a long time. Alan Fulpot was my, my first athlete that I worked with. Um, he just wanted to plug a raw. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I think I've always moved slowly, but moved with good value try to give as much effort as I can to the guys around me. And that's just slowly kind of created almost a flow on effect. Yeah, Look after a lot of the guys in Sydney and been fortunate to work with a lot of really good athletes. The Sydney physio guy. Josh and I are obviously good friends as well, which is great to uh, build that rapport. But that's what's really important when you work in the fight game. To actually care for the person. You can't just be a good clinician and think that's it. That's where a lot of people go wrong. It's about doing the extras, actually caring about the person, which I do. How can I say, bro? Rube Savan looks after me. Whenever I need him, call him in the middle of the night, tell him, fucking, I'm worried about this, worried about that. He goes, bro, don't stress. You know, Rube, Rube actually cares, like, with other, with all the other stuff. Like, all the all the, all the the physio stuff is, is cool and stuff, but, like, usually his... His approach is that he actually cares about the athlete. Like before, he even works on the body, he asks what's going on in life and how's the head space and and yeah, that's that's why I'm very thankful to have him. You know, part of the team. And plus, he's the man. He's sexy cunt. What have you gained from having him here? Oh, just the uh, the again like. Like sorry. as part of the team, sorry. Again, I just it's like trying to make make these trips and make these fighting away feel like home and again just having him here you know having alan having johnny having eagle here it just makes it feel more and more just like home so i'm pretty excited for josh to be honest bro um it's the best i've seen him through camp like he usually you know has little niggle and injuries and you know he actually gets sick a lot because he's usually a bit more undisciplined outside of the the camp so he gets high and his weight, um, no, but this time he's, he was pretty lenient and staying to it. No, he started camp at a good weight. He was already had a nice base fitness, and no, it showed because throughout the camp he's had an unbelievable camp. Um, In terms of nerves, uh, how are the nerves for you? I'm good, bro. I'm I'm very good, confident. No, I mean like you know, obviously I know the wrong too. Tough fire. We know exactly. Where, where he, what he's going to do, he's going to be there everywhere. But um, I'm very, very confident for Josh. Um, on the day, obviously, you get a little bit more nerves when you're walking out and stuff because it's like, you no, know, he's in there and you can't do anything at last days. It's him on his own. But up to that, like we can help him, we can talk to him and guide him. But when that case door shuts, it's a, it's a different feeling. Like. And in terms of his um. His technique right now, he's looking pretty sharp. You reckon? Very sharp, bro. Especially you know, the day before the weight cut. Um, no, it's just his energy in general and everything. Like I say, the whole camp, bro. He's been like he's smooth sealed, and that that was a big confidence booster, I think, for the whole team because, you no, know, like I say, there's there's times where he's cramping up and he's fucking sick and injuries and you no, know, like he's also you no know, took it on himself and told the coach that you no, know, he's he needs to step away from coaching as well a little bit um, just doing a couple of little classes for his routine but he stepped away and he's, he's taking a lot his recovery a lot more better um, but yeah all, all in all round man he's fucking 
he's he's looking the best I've seen him to be fair. Even his weight, like you no, know, he's he's been able to eat extra. He's been lighter. Like you know, he's like three days in front, so he has been in the weight cuts, which means he got to eat more, which is obviously going to be better for him. Are you? What happened? Good speak. <laughs> what are you looking for, bro? <laughs> hey, go look out the window. Go look out the window. Obviously the striking coach for Josh, um, how do you think he's he's been throughout this whole camp and uh, how are you feeling with him going in, uh, into the fight this Saturday? I feel confident man, I feel good, I feel I feel like he's, he's going to bring out a, a totally different aspect of his fighting style, um, he's grown heaps, he's sharper, stronger, better timing, better movement, he's just, he's just another animal this time. And obviously, in terms of uh, your confidence, I'm assuming you're very, very high going yeah. into this weekend. Yeah, I'm super keen, super keen, super excited, and yeah, I think he will show show the people out there what, what he's made of this time. He's always done it, but this time it'll be a different kuya, guarantee. <laughs>